Hello Collective, welcome to my channel. So happy to be here with you today. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, you know, what's today? Saturday. We're like what 22 days away from the big from the big uh you know, from the big guy, the big old Santa Claus coming to town and all that kind of good stuff, right? So we're going to pull us an archetype card. I don't know about you guys, but I have been feeling very emotional today. Um, I have had to do several cleansings. Not sure what's going on, but, oh, boy. And it was like this heavy energy. I don't know if anybody else felt it. If you do, give me a, a yell out, you know. Um just maybe it was just me I don't know but I just know that it took me a few hours to feel right and you know if I don't wake up happy I'm like what the heck is going on because I try to do my best to you know make sure everything's good and everybody has a bad day once in a while but this was like different it was like rough like like not just a little bit of energy that I felt like I needed to cleanse out it was like I felt like I got dumped dumped on man and so um I read the cards that told me to relax have a nap chillax um been really busy lately doing a lot of stuff and you know so I did and I woke up and I feel better and um I hope you guys are feeling awesome if you're not, though, know that a cleanse and a nap always helps. Always. Yeah, always helps. Okay, what's going on today? The flame, 51. Candle lit. Fire. Fire. We are in Pisces today. The moon is. And I didn't realize that till I was like, going through my cleansing and stuff and I was like oh we're in Pisces today the collective you know energy and it just felt real real stressful what well, we got 51 here so I hope everybody's doing great and if you're feeling sad or down remember you can always do an energy cleanse and anything anything helps right besides staying in that same uh, energy. We don't want to be in that energy of, um, you know, melancholy or depression or sadness. We want to find a way to bring our energy at least into balance. And, you know, there are always going to be days when, you know, it isn't perfect and we might have to work a little extra harder, especially with what's going on right now in the collective such as you know a lot of people uh unfortunately for that man that got murdered right but so many people hated him uh he had taken medical from so many people it was about health insurance it's really sad that they denied so many people that died until one you know, just one person couldn't take it anymore and decided to take justice into his own hands and then come to find out that that health place was already under suspicion uh, by uh, Biden's Justice League and had been denying multiples and multiples of people health care and them dying and everything. And it, it's just... You know, I mean, how can you, the, and people mad at the dead man, the man that was murdered, actually thinking that, you know, saying that he deserved it. And how can you, you know, how can you say not when, and this is when I began to feel the heaviness. I read that article and I was like, oh my God, so many people paid millions and billions of dollars that they would have health care. <clears throat> in your old days and somebody just like that said no you can't have it and took their money <clears throat> just with a snap of the finger the flame 
the fire, the spark, the glimmer. In Sanskrit, the word for fire is Agni. The ancient yogis saw this flame at the center of the abandonment and believed it to be responsible for our vitality. When it is lit, we are connected to our purpose and sense that life is a sacred gift and oh, that it is. It is a sacred gift and we should treat all life as sacred. All life, not just people, not just animals, but our trees, our water, our air, our earth, and the sun as well that gives us the warmth and fire that we need to survive these cold winters on this planet. And so to be grateful and and for the gift of life, you know, uh, turmoil and turbulence comes with life. That's why it's called life, because if we were on the other side, we don't never get tried or we don't have... Um, um, we don't have pressure over there to do things. We're just, you know, we're like in a, a meditation while we wait to come over here. Think of this card as a call to reignite that fire, to cup your hands gently around those things you've forgotten and protect the flame. No matter how harshly the winds around you blow, it could be an inner archetype that begs you to light its wick. It is likely that the poet, the mystic, or the shaman would call to you with the language of the flame. In the light, health, mental clarity, good digestion, in the dark, excess heat and anger, complete darkness. You know, I have to say that I almost felt dark. I was angry frustrated I, I went through this today I know you guys probably don't want to hear about it but it was such an unusual experience for me to be mad and agitated and have to literally lay down and you know cuddle up to my puppies and pray and ask God to take that anger and, and agitation from me because I and cleanse, cleanse, call the eaters in, call the emergency, emergency, 911, somebody get the fire department, this woman is pissed for no reason. Okay, I'm not no more, and I can't do readings when I get into that kind of situation, but I haven't been feeling like that for a long, long time. So, okay, hush, 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 hush. What is going on with the collective? Hey, let's roll, because we're in Pisces today, and a lot of those emotions come up. I am almost positive out of the collective, and because I know how to transmute them, I just feel like I was a target. Pisces, 12. No doubt, Pisces right there, right on the front. Pisces. Pisces is the 12th house, four. There was an expansion, Jupiter, and you guys, we got this big show getting ready to come up, I think on the 16th of this month, that Jupiter will be in between us and the sun, and that it's going to be a beautiful sight, I suppose. I've never heard of this before. I'll have to look and see if it's a rarity. I'll look more about it and give you guys some information. But we got Pisces here. And Pisces is all about sensitivity and picking up emotions. It's all about empathy, empathetic, being able to feel what's going on around you. It is the 12th house. It's the dump. It's where all month long, all through the collective we go. And this is the last one, the one between life and death. Yes, yes. I remember thinking, oh God, this feels so horrible. I could just I, I could die and it wouldn't matter because I would be leaving behind the misery. It was it was like that and I haven't felt anything like that and so I just felt like I got dumped on, right? Two, three, four cleansings. You know, I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry. I, if you guys can relate to this, please, please. 
please hit me up with a like, with a subscribe, with, with a comment. Let me know. Because if I'm the only one, you know, picking up on this, then maybe something's the matter with me. <laughs> and anyway, we've got expansion. So big, big energy. And yes, I was feeling that. And so I called on the fire, you know, to burn it away. Like, you know, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but it was weird. Okay, so I'm going to ask what's going on in the collective today. What is happening out there? Let's see. Let's pull an animal card. For some reason, perseverance came into my head. Okay, and we do persevere, right? Yeah, we persevere. We're strong, mature folks, whether man or woman. We are strong. We're battle, you know, battle proof. We've been through this world for over, you know, a lot of us for 40, 50, 60 years. We got peace on the bottom. The giraffe, my favorite animal. I love giraffes. They can see over the trees. They're looking at the future. And here we have fulfillment. Fulfillment. Listen to your inner voice and choose paths that resonate with your true self. Align with your heart and your purpose. You will experience a profound sense of fulfillment and satisfaction. And so, yeah, all day I was working on aligning with my heart. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Hurry. 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 Come on. Good job. Good job. I love you. My babies. My babies. Okay. So, let's see what we get. Three of Cups. Um, Three of Cups in the Gaia deck. Three of Cups. We're going to put that right there. And I'm going to get the book. Three of Cups. Three of Cups. Hope everybody uh, is looking forward to a wonderful holiday season. And it doesn't matter whether you have money or whether you don't have money, whether you have gifts or whether you don't have gifts. What matters is that you know, the winter solstice is here. We're halfway through winter. Um, that we have our family, that we're warm, that we got food. And that, you know, we're saving space for those who have not. There we go. Satisfaction, pleasure, joy, hopefulness, anticipation attachment expectation and disappointment so celebrate your victories and i celebrate today i feel like i want a good one today take satisfaction from your endeavors yeah do what makes you happy and be glad about it no matter what it is if it brings joy to you then that's exactly exactly what you should be doing Look to the future with anticipation. Yes, yes, it's not always easy, but if we make a little plan, maybe for a day or two ahead, it'll give us something to look forward to, right? Your success will continue. A rewarding outcome. Maybe some of you guys are investing in something. Um, an exciting future. Free yourself of unrealistic expectations. Allow the outcome to manifest freely. So you guys are manifesting. The three of water represents satisfaction and indicates that you have come to a time to rejoice in life and your successes. She stands tall and confident with arms raised in victorious celebration. She has invested greatly in her creative endeavors and is well satisfied with her progress and accomplishments so far. She is positive and hopeful that her success will continue. And so she turns to greet the future with anticipation and excitement. This could be about anything. 
um, yeah, this could be about, you know, planning a dinner to buying gifts to um, happiness and joy with family. So this looks good. This looks good. The future is looking good. And um, a lot of you guys are finding satisfaction just in your day to day life. Yeah, celebration, celebrating, you know, finding satisfaction in yourself even, and your achievements, and your accomplishments. Okay, what else, Spirit? What would you like us to know? You guys are to celebrate your, you know, accomplishments and achievements and goals. To recognize, you know, that you've done something. If that's kind of hard to do, isn't it? Sometimes to say, yeah, I did that. That's awesome. But if we don't do it, then we forget, don't we? We, we do a lot of things and we don't even think about what we're doing. And it's always usually to help somebody. And then we act as if that's just normal. But it's not always just normal. Not everybody is nice. Not everybody's loving. Not everybody is kind. The king of water. Control of your emotions. This is Pisces. Yep. Pisces showing up. Wow. Emotional control. <laughs> the babies are playing. Yeah, this is all about um, having your emotions under control. Uh, knowing what you need to do in order to stabilize your emotions. Um, emotional mastery, actually. Yeah, he don't let his emotions get away from him. He He's always got his emotions under control. So somebody out there could be a king of waters. And, um, yeah, that wasn't me today. <laughs> this ain't me today. And you got control of your emotions. And you know what direction you want to take. And you make wonderful choices. And you're capable of weighing out what needs to be, um, you know, uh, uh, how you need to fill it, basically. So, you know, calm yourself down. Taking care of it. Taking control of your emotions. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so we got water and water. So maybe there are some, you know, uh, turbulent emotions going on out there that you know a lot of people are working on today to try to you know this is about getting your emotions under control as well and this is the ace of swords that's all about truth so what what's going on here with all this emotional stuff in the collective is this in the collective yeah this is about looking in the mirror and no matter what you've been through or what you've done after all the work you go through to get to a place to where you're willing to look yourself again in the face to be okay and know that you're beautiful no matter what you've been through no matter what you've done you you know you worked hard to heal this guy's got scars going up and down his face. Again, we got emotions. These emotions must be out in the collective. I want you to know I love you. And if anybody's going through this, I felt it this morning. And I, like I said, it took hours for me to cleanse any energy off me. I hated myself. It was horrible. It was horrible. I hadn't felt like that in years. In years in years so just know collective that we got dumped on we got dumped on somehow some way something got thrown at us now this guy right here loves himself no matter what he's been through looks at himself in the mirror and says i love you and you're beautiful no matter the scars even the scars highlight his 
his total self. They're handsome, makes him look strong and tough. And the scars is his reward of winning the battle. He's still around to remember that he fought and won for himself. And he knows he's beautiful. She knows she's beautiful. You know you're beautiful. No matter what we've been through, we are beautiful people. And we are here at this precise time in history for a purpose and a reason. And it is to help keep the collective consciousness clean from getting overridden by too many spilt over emotions of which is what is happening right now a lot of this is coming from you know like I say millions and millions of people paid for insurance to have medical care in their lifetimes and today and yesterday and day before it's been exposed that many people were ripped off and a lot of people were upset and a lot of people died that didn't have to die because that man put a deny stamp on what they'd already paid for. That gets people mad, upset, and I can't blame them. Okay, Holy Spirit, praying for the collective energies right now, praying that we all come together and stand strong, take care of our emotions, watch out for ourselves, cleanse ourselves, love ourselves, tell ourselves everything is going to be okay, and hold the faith and know that. Hold the faith and know that. That's integrity and healing. Holding the faith and knowing and holding faith that all will be well. Maybe not like we want it to be, but it will turn out okay. Because God protects his anointed ones. God protects those who are on their mission. Who are working to do their best to make sure they share love with others. And peace. Yes, God protects. <laughs> if that don't look like protection, I don't know what does. Two guards to the front, the darkness and the light protect those who work for God. This is the six of wands. Victory. Victory. Do you see him, how protected he is back in there? We do not have to worry for the fire the fire the Holy Spirit is the fire is with us the fire of creation the fire and the water of creation actually kick it takes both the fire and water I'm busy right now So it takes both the fire and the water, um, you know, for us to use our emotions and the words, you know, speak the word of the Holy Spirit is fire and water mixed together because the living fire and the living waters go together and they fit into the living earth and the living air that we breathe. <laughs> okay. A little chilly today, but it's better than being wah wah wah. Okay, there's abundance. Abundance is coming for us all, and we have to remember that. You know, we have quite the haul over the next few years that we're going to have to pray up, stand strong, have faith in creator of creations that God wants us to be abundant and not let our joy get stolen from us right we have to all stand up for what is true what is real what is right get grounded get down in there with mother earth and the, the heavenly father 
get grounded. Being with Mother Earth isn't about owning anything she has because you don't have anything. But it's about making sure you're protected from it for everything you need while we go through all this. Right? Right. Okay. While we're going through it, we got to ride our horse. The counselor. What I said to you is true. You must love yourself very much over these, you know, when you're feeling down, when your emotions are getting the best of you, it's best to just lay down and hold on to a pillow and talk to your heart and tell yourself that you're worthy of love and you love yourself. When your emotions are like this, we have to take the time to work on our healing because a lot of women, you know, a lot of women and men are just one part of a bigger family and fear and stress and anxiety is spread like a disease. It, it spreads like a disease. It's hard to stay happy when you get around unhappy people, right? It's almost like, ooh, we better not disturb their unhappiness. <laughs> But we should disturb their unhappiness. We damn sure should disturb their unhappiness. Look at that. I don't do upside down reversals. But when I get one, I've decided to keep it. Uh, this is self-sacrifice when it's like this. Yeah. So we don't self-sacrifice our joy for those who are willing to cut their own selves and be martyrs. We don't work with martyrdom. Because martyrdom is nothing but a low level vibration. It vibrates so low. We do not martyr ourselves for the greater good. We don't do that. We love ourselves. We put ourselves to bed. We pamper ourselves. We get ourselves some ginger tea with a slice of lemon. And we tell ourselves that we're going to be better tomorrow. And we're going to be better today. We're doing the best we can. And uh, God never asked for more than that. And when we're giving our best, we know that. We know it. That is ginger tea with ginger and lemon. I love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spicy though. Spicy, baby, spicy. So we do not martyr ourselves. We protect ourselves, love ourselves. We know that heaven and hell both are watching over us, really. You know, hell is only there for one reason. It, it is to discipline those that can't find a way to discipline themselves. So hell will come forth. And, you know, hell does have fury. It's karma. It's, it's you know, it's to teach people lessons to do better. Do better. You know, the last thing God cares about is whether you worship God or not. Because I've studied atheists, and atheists are like already kind and gentle people. Quite a few atheists that I've studied, you know, and talked to. What they don't understand, though, is what this one, he told me his side and then my side of the story. What do you do, though, if it's wonderful to be raised in a home where you already have love and everything you need and, you know, there's gratitude and all these great things and your home is so good that you don't need to look for an outside source. But some people like me, as I told him, didn't come from a home like that. And I was looking for a source that could teach me how to be a better person, to be a better human, because I didn't come from a home that knew these things. And therefore, even if you, as an atheist, are a perfect person, if it hadn't have been for the knowledge of God, I don't know if I'd have turned into a better person, because I didn't get this knowledge as a child. So. You know, I have nothing against atheists because I know for a fact that all God cares about is if you're doing the best you can while you're on this planet. And to love God is a bonus. To have faith in God is a blessing. It's a gift. I was gifted with faith. To have faith in God is a gift because it makes magic happen. It literally, 
enters into the quantum realm and changes things around because you're believing it's going to be one way and just like they say in the quantum field if you see a particle and you think something about that particle then that particle will do that it'll become super positioned so i don't know if that made any sense to you to me it made all the sense in the world <laughs> it's like working with the universe believing and having faith it ain't easy Ooh, this morning i was like ah but i was back able to get back to my faith whatever knocked me off my block or my rock it took me a little bit of time but i got back up there for the universe is god universe created this galaxy the universe gave birth to itself the universe has a mind and the universe loves it when we believe it's alive kick and knows it's alive and if the universe can form this galaxy and all these other galaxies and all that dark matter around everything then the universe can absolutely protect guide lead and love us as we need it i don't know what i'm going to call this reading it's a preaching this is about not sacrificing yourself but calling out just like i did i don't know what happened i don't know why i felt the way i did but i know that i did and i woke up feeling that way like it came to me in my sleep but you know working with god thank god um you know and you know a few hours later i'm back to my normal self describe god wants me to write about this every time i get this i know he wants me to write it down he's reminding me she's reminding me and i'm reminding you guys to write down what goes on in your life you know natural or unnatural doesn't matter just you know keep your notes about how you feel and where you're at at certain times and it will help when you go back to reread to rethink to re-remember um we you know and all this that i'm telling you is written in holy books too you know prayer meditation always helps and then of course i've got this you know this thing about where i like to envision the waters of you know the ethers the living waters pouring through me moving that old energy out and it did take three times but i got it out of there i got it out of there okay holy spirit what would you like to finish up with living waters and living fire love yourself be kind to yourself especially while we're going through what we're get, what we're going through we're going through a death a death collective death so that we can have a rebirth it's the cosmic egg wow oh yeah i watched a program on the universe last night the craziest thing do you know that all the planets follow the sun and that the sun the earth is first after the sun too and that the sun goes up to the top of our galaxy every so many billions of years okay but when it does form at the top it makes a cosmic egg up there and you know the indias talk about the yugas and stuff like that and as we get higher and higher and closer and closer to the top of the galaxy the more and more intelligent people are becoming we are literally rising up to hatch out of this cosmic egg anyway it's a death and rebirth of of the collective of 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 um of everything you know everything's changing 
everything's changing so let's keep focused and keep the faith and um you know we're looking for change for the good any kind of advice we want to give the collective today search for your fulfillment search for your fulfillment yes yes the empress look for what makes you happy and stay away from too many um burdens doing too much stuff for other people make sure you take care of you first take care of you first and then you're better equipped to help others meanwhile you know most of us are wounded warriors doing our best to do our best right doing our best it's been a battle we've been here about anywhere from 40 to 60 years and you know it it gets a little battle worn after a while but that's okay we're going to make it we're going to make it all the way all the way all the way to whatever all the way is and with that being said you guys i love y'all god bless and good night Oh, don't forget to please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Blessings. What in the world?